What is going on YouTube? Hit him back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Guys, in today's video, we need to talk about the fact that markets literally dumped as of two days ago, seeing markets uh, reverse at a pretty substantial rate. You can see the major reversal that happened here on the S&P 500. On Thursday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, we saw a massive dump. And I literally mean a massive dump, clear rejection, which we kind of thought could happen here off this resistance here. Now, we had originally thought maybe we'd be breaking bullish because we traded outside of the descending fractal. We saw the confirmation swing to the outside here, but unfortunately, we immediately reversed back down. This level right here at 4284 is a major resistance. You can see in the past here, there's been consistent problems with this level and especially trying to break through it. Not only that, it's also acted as major supports in the past here, which is also another reason why we're starting to see this act as a bit of a resistance currently. So the fact that we got rejected off this is not a surprise for me. Um, the fact that we're trading quite low right now is a little concerning here. I'd really, really, really hope come tomorrow, uh, sorry, Monday morning, we start to see prices or at least Monday night close us back inside this fractal here. Um, it'd be really unfortunate if we start to trend lower than this. Uh, that would be the lowest point we've gone to in a very, and I mean a very long time since like uh, March of 2021, like over a year ago, which would be pretty insane to see us dump that low here. But what we really have to focus on is these cryptocurrencies. Thursday, we saw the dump on Cinco de Mayo, and that immediately caused cryptos like uh, uh, XRP to correct lower. We had Ethereum correct lower. We had Bitcoin correct lower. Everything has fallen lower, and it almost seemed like almost like a pump fake where prices shot up outside these descending fractals on um, cryptos like Bitcoin here, where we swung up and then immediately corrected back down inside. Pretty funny. Um, a lot of people definitely got like juked out. You know, this was like a pump fake right here, which is pretty interesting here. Same thing happened here. We exploded up rejected off resistance, fell back down inside our descending fractal here. And same thing, obviously, with XRP. XRP is in good standing right now. We are trading very well. I'm actually not necessarily concerned with XRP currently, but I do have to talk a lot more about the way the XRP chart is trending right now. We did fall back down to bottom support, which is totally fine. It's a level that we've been trending on for quite some time now, but we're going to talk about where these cryptos could be moving to, what we have to pay attention to, and stuff like that. Um, really quickly, before we dive into the technical analysis and stuff like that, um, I have have started a new YouTube channel uh, called my name Hayden Trier for those that keep getting my name wrong this is my name it's a new YouTube channel I'm gonna have it linked down in the description I just put out a video yesterday as you guys can see here this is gonna be my new finance channel everything to do with finance everything you can think about uh, mutual funds index funds finance retirement Roth Roth uh, IRAs 401ks everything you can think about that in the world of finance as well as what's going on with the feds and stuff like that I figured I would separate the cryptocurrency channel from um, the finance industry because you guys seem to have different beliefs on it and I don't want to just crowd everything so please do me a favor and check out the video that I uh, just posted yesterday show me your support tell me your comments on it whether it's criticism or not I don't care just click on the video watch it subscribe to the channel here I'm trying to get this to 1,000 subs we got 63 freaking thousand people here and you know maybe when we get a thousand subs on my uh, channel here I'll do a giveaway and give away some cryptocurrency how does that sound? So definitely check out this uh, channel. I linked it down in the description below. It's also great if you want to learn about, you know, it's jam-packed with information. It's a lot different than the videos I make now. I spend probably like 10 to 12 hours editing and creating this video. So I put a ton of information in that. So please do me the favor and check it out. Uh, but with that being said, guys, today's video is brought to us by MyX, as you guys can see here, the most competitive crypto trading platform. As you guys know, I do review uh, different cryptocurrencies on the channel. One that you know, may offer something different than typical, you know, exchanges that we currently use. So MyX is one of those differences and definitely recommend checking them out. They're also doing a really big sign up bonus for everybody that uh, follows and watches crypto TV, which is super cool. So if you want to claim some free cryptocurrency a lot, I think it's up to like $18,000 they're giving away uh, just for partnering with the channel. Uh, definitely make sure to check them out. Link in the description down below. Super cool. They offer a lot of stuff. It's very similar to, you know, some other major exchanges that you might, you know, you might notice. But more information about MyX will be in the middle of today's video. So definitely stay tuned. With that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's dive into today's episode. 
All right, guys, as you can see, I'm on the current coin market cap. Everything is pretty much consolidating. Obviously, the uh, seven day week right here has been pretty much bearish. We've been down quite substantially here with things probably down about 10% on average here. Things are really getting hit hard. Uh, there are also some cryptos up, which is pretty incredible. Tron's up 32%. Really just shows you the potential. ApeCoin, as expected, uh, after seeing its major run to the upside here, is now seeing its major dump to the downside here. Uh, down 45%, half of its value gone in literally less than seven days, which is insane here. Lots of cryptocurrencies are uh, correcting lower here. But uh, more importantly, what we have to look at. So so a couple days ago, I did say, you know, if you were bored and, you know, getting annoyed with these markets, waiting till Sunday, if you want to play it moderate to aggressive, and I made a fairly bullish video on my YouTube channel, which you can see was right here. I basically talked about the uh, breakout being confirmed because I thought we, you know, broke through the major descending fractal here. We'd probably start to see cryptocurrencies move back up. But I also made it very specific that the conservative buy-in opportunity for XRP would be, once we confirm breaking through, a Sunday closure here. But I did say for those that were a little more impatient on the channel that wanted a buy-in, you could have put in a buy-in order with anticipations of seeing markets swing back up. Obviously, we didn't do that. You would have gotten stopped out. It even happened on my Patreon, which is where I post all my cryptocurrency trades. Unfortunately, I mean, you win some, you lose some here, and I did lose a little bit. But um, in the long-term things, we're going to make up this lost profit here. I can almost guarantee it. The reason being is because we've still fallen back down to support. So yes, unlike Ethereum and Bitcoin, which managed to break back down inside its descending fractal, Ethereum breaking back down inside the descending fractal, the S&P consolidating. Interestingly enough, we are slightly below this uptrend here we are at low points um you know this is the lowest point we've had a daily candle close at uh, in a long time here but it is right at the support here and it is at the same bottom here so we've been to this level back in february here but it still is a little nerve-wracking because i hope we can reverse off this that's the main goal you know i don't want us to keep sliding lower we do have to find a bottom here i do think we're due for like an eight to fifteen percent correction not necessarily a bull run but a continued uh, leg in this bearer market, if that makes sense. So yeah, we might see a run like this and then followed by more consolidation, but that's what I'd mainly be looking for, something along those lines here. Before I continue, I do have a few words from today's sponsor, Myx. I wanna give a huge shout out to Myx for sponsoring today's episode. As with all cryptocurrency exchanges, please do your own research and never invest anything you can't afford to lose. Especially since Myx is relatively new and has only been around for about five months, only time will tell how secure their exchange really is. So guys, seven former Binance Core techs launched a free cryptocurrency exchange called Myx, that provides free spot trading, tether margin perpetual contracts, and coin margin perpetual contracts. Now, there are more than 100 crypto trading pairs on their platform, and they are currently offering signup bonuses to new users on the platform, and even gave you guys up to $18,000 in a USDT price pool, which you can get a part of just by clicking the link down in the description and tapping on open. You can even use this bonus to experience the platform, make transactions, and the money you earn can even be withdrawn. Known as Mayx or Myx, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it, when they were first established, it was determined to be a subversion of traditional exchanges. And Nyx's vision is to make every transaction more profitable and become the most competitive crypto trading platform. Now, Myx is completely free for spot trading with over 50 trading pairs, and their derivatives trading uses leverage of up to 125x, with commission as low as 0.01%. Now, for those that may still be confused with the term spot trading, it is in the world of cryptocurrency a continuous process of buying and selling tokens and coins at a spot price for an immediate settlement. And derivatives trading means an agreement between a buyer and seller for the future price of a crypto. Now, the parties of this deal do not own any of the underlying assets, and they don't exchange it like traditional trading implies, but rather speculate on its price at which they agree to buy or sell the asset. Now, moving on, the team redesigned the entire trading engine based on the experience of Binance and a similar layout to Bybit. They support non-stop hot updates and multi-level risk control, with test results that show the new engine can support 400,000 orders per second, which is a lot. Now, in regards to wallet security, MyX states that each user is assigned an independent wallet address, key is stored in a multi-level encrypted offline environment, and every transaction is signed offline. Now, they also offer experienced customer service, and they have a team that provides 24-7 online service through their website messaging portal. So guys, if you want to join their exchange or claim their prize pool, definitely make sure to check them out in the description of today's video. And let's dive back into today's episode. But for XRP, we don't look bad. And I've been saying this in every single one of my videos, and you can 
quote me on this, that we need to see how Sunday plays out because we typically tend to see a lot of consolidation um, when we hit this bottom support. Based off the previous thing that happened in January and February here, we had many, 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 many days of sideways consolidation. I'll be exact with you. The date range that it took was approximately, I'd say 12 to 13 days, almost two weeks of consolidation. Flash forward to today, we have eight days of filled in so far, and we have maybe four days left hitting us around that two week mark that's 12 days but maybe up to 14 days so we'll see how many more days we have left of this consolidation but i strongly believe that this weekend come sunday should give us the general direction that we should be seeing these markets move to specifically changing the charts to the uh weekly charts you can see clearly what it is i'm referring to i say this i've been saying this every single one of my videos but i want to refresh it for those that are new to the channel here consistently the pattern that happens within xrp is it usually forms three waves before we get confirmation as to what's to happen i'm surprised we fell this low here but because we managed to make it to the weekend still above this major support here uh, there's a good chance that we might just kind of you know trade sideways for today and tomorrow because the S&P is closed and then come Monday potentially see a swing back to the outside but you can see the first candle in this three candle layout here the first candle typically pulls us to the bottom support the second is the consolidation uh, and confirming the general direction of the movement and the third week is the follow-up which is the run you can see here so we you know close back down we fell back down to the support level the second candle confirms the general direction which was closing us above the support and the third candle you know continues the direction of the breakout here so we're looking at the same thing right now forming on the xrp chart for this week and you can see this ends literally in by tomorrow it ends tomorrow tomorrow night we're going to get that direction we have a day and 10 hours left the rest of today and then tomorrow so hopefully ideally we close us above here where we currently are um, right at this level here. And then we can start to see prices lift off like this. That's the ideal goal that we're looking for. However, if we close below support, we're going to expect to see a pretty substantial panic dump and correction to the downside here, which is not something I would like to happen here. Obviously, we could still capitalize off the short opportunity that would open up if we do crack lower, but it's not something I want to look forward to. It's not something that I want to see because it would really send these cryptos and these markets down to some pretty nasty levels here. Um, otherwise, because Ethereum's back inside the descending fractal, which is a bullish bias, we could expect to see at some point another break and see a swing. Same thing with Bitcoin here. Still inside the descending fractal, waiting for the confirmation swing. And the S&P 500, which is back now, you know, trending downwards here. I really need to see how this plays out. And we're all hoping patiently that we can get back inside this fractal here and then break through it. That's the ideal goal. If we continue to fall lower, it's going to be all the way down to its bottom support here. And you can see we just retested yesterday uh, on Friday. We retested the bottom, retested this moving average here. And I do believe the lowest point we could move to is maybe this level here, which is about an, a 17% drop here. And um, that I think hopefully would be the lowest point. It would send us into oversold on the weekly here but that's pretty much it for today's video definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications smash the like button for the youtube algorithm once again huge shout out to my ex for sponsoring today's video and i'll see you in tomorrow's episode peace <laughs>